everybody. Come on in, get yourself a cuppa, get sorted, sat down. Um, I want to start off by saying uh, that OT is back out of hospital, little Otis. Uh, I put his little picture in there and I wrote about it on the back. So that's what the tag, that's him in his little hospital bed. Bless him, he looks so sad. Um, he, his, his pneumonia hasn't got any worse, but it hasn't got any better either. So he's on another massive lot of um of antibiotics bless him so i think this is the problem when um there's something a pandemic going on lots of little things get overlooked so unfortunately he's been ill now he's coming up five weeks um but it's safer for him to be out of hospital than it is to be in hospital so anyway thank you for everybody who was worried about him but he's back home where he belongs okay so i feel a bit happier <laughs> a little bit happier i hate it i hate not being able to see them uh, so today it's easter sunday i hope the easter bunny came and left you lots of things it did with my little ones um, and i've got lots of photos here that were sent to me oh that's the same one that was sent to me um today from the two different families Maisie's too big for the easter bunny so this is just little ones but this there's all lots of photos but this is my page now obviously there's not going to be enough room on that page to do everything i want to do so i'm going to add a flap and because i'm not yet halfway through the book if i turn halfway through the book you can tell because it has the stitching all the way down i am going to tear out those two pages that were in the middle there we go those two and i'm going to use one of these as a flap which one? Oh, look they even match that's surprising what should we do let's have the blue one i think i'm going to stick with i think i'm going to stick with this one i'm going to have the blue attaching there okay and then it will open up but I don't want a full page so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my journal block and I'm just going to line my journal block and I'm drawing down the bit with the torn edge because I want these two edges to match up. Oh, can you see where I've just smudged it? Never mind. And then um, I'm just going to cut this torn edge off. Keep that edge because I might use it again. I might add it into something else. Okay, and then I think I'm going to add, is that big enough for a couple of photos? Yes, it is. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to draw a line right along the edge here as well. Um, if you haven't got lots of littlies or lots of photos you can just do one per age it doesn't matter you don't have to do what I'm doing you know mine's just a guide really so on the outside this one is going to do here I'm actually I'm going to do a border to draw border and then in that border I think I'll use a stencil what should we have oops oh, my stencils are fighting with me this morning let's have this one so 
So I'm going to use a thinner pen. And I'm just going to place the border and I'm just going to um, doodle through the stencil. I do this a lot. Sometimes I'll do it freehand, but those of you who struggle with doodling, this is really, really easy to do. And any, any stencil really, you just have to have a steady hand. And it's funny because those of you who don't like doodling, once you've stenciled a few times, you find it's a lot easier to do. Usually we don't like doing things because we can't do them. <laughs> As um, adults, we don't like to think that we can't do something. We think, oh, we've got to be able to do it. So consequently, if we can't do something, we're like, oh, we don't like that anyway. So, um, if you find a little cheat way of doing it, like this, you get used to it and you think, oh, that looks nice. I like that. And then you tend to do it more. I've got a circle missing there. You always miss at least one, one bit. And then I'm going to put, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to put some little bit of doodling in here. You could have coloured them with the um, inky brushes. It's great to see all your variations that you're doing and posting. Remember, you need to post them in the creative dialogue and diary. and uh, Sorry, the Dilutions Dialogue and Creative Diary page. That's the page where they need to go. And if you're posting them, the need to have dilutions on them. I know some of you are stuck at home and you've only got other people's stuff. And that's fine. You can you can do it. But if you're posting on that page, it needs to have dilutions stuff on there. OK, there we go. I might add a little bit more to that in a bit. We'll see. So anyway, so this... It's going to go here and then this flap is going to open and then I've got room for more um, more photos. So the easiest way to do this, we're going to add some washi tape on this. And actually, I think, I think I'm going to use the washi tape that I used yesterday for the tag. So I'm going to use this washi tape. And the easiest way to do this is to put this... Oops. Oh, Diane, you've let go. I'll put that to one side, get that in a minute. Is to put it on the back of the page. Oops. Doesn't want to play today. Come on. Just tell it off. And if you've got the grid or the dot page, you can always follow the grids down so that you know you're in the right spot and if you look at the back does that look quite even yes let's cut that off I'll trim it properly in a minute okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this one up to the end so I'm going to slide it right to the end of that page and then I'm going to fold this tape over then it's an exact fit, okay? It's an exact fit all the way down. I'm just going to trim the edge. You have to trim the edges because these are curved edges. And the tape will go round. There we go. So there is the page. And then you also need to put this inside as well. Because otherwise your page will fall off. So again, you can follow the lines on the grid, if you've got the grid. Again, press it down firmly, close it and go round the, the edges again. Otherwise, it'll be quite bulky. There we go. 
okay can you see we've got a little flap there at the moment it's going to stick up like this um but once you've had your book closed for a while it will stay down there and that will just give you a lot more space to use so let's have a look what have we got so on the outside i think i've got that's of that's of there we go there's martha and edith and there's otis yeah and you had some double pictures of them so those two can go on the outside and then on the inside here where have we got let's go with age so we've got martha We've got Betsy. These were all today. We've got Otis. We've got Edith. Hmm. Do I want to keep? I might do that. And then I can write Easter in here. Oh, I don't know which pictures I prefer. I think I like that one because she's doing her Easter egg hunt. Otis having his picnic. She's got a bunny on her head. I think I like this one. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Okay, so let's start down here with Edith. Let's take the back off. So these were just printed out on my sprocket. If you don't know what a sprocket is, one of the earlier videos talks all about the sprocket. Gives you an example of me using it. And from what I hear, loads of you have ordered them. So, sorry about that. <laughs> I should have shares in Sprocket. Oh, my goodness me. I tell everybody. One of the gorgeous ladies in my class, the lovely Joanne, set me off on the Sprocket. And since then, I have told thousands of people. photos so let's draw let's draw around them oops I drew on the actual photo never mind there we go it won't draw on the um, washi tape You know what? I think I would like a similar border. Down this side. I'm going to use the same stencil. Just going to repeat in here. Maybe I should have done this before, but better late than never. Sometimes you don't know what you want till you do it. You know, I don't plan these beforehand. I sort of have an idea, like I knew I wanted to put some photos in today, and yesterday I knew I wanted to do a postcard, but apart from that, 
I don't actually plan anything. And that's how it should be, because then you don't worry about it. If you plan it and it goes wrong, then that's the problem. Um, I don't plan anything. There we go. So again, let's put the same doodling in. So that will look, yeah. Let's put that same doodling in there. Oops. so funny I've spoken to both families this morning and both the little girls said mama grandma did you get lots of treats as well and I was like oh the Easter bunny doesn't come to the older people to grown-ups and they both took something of theirs and said well this is for you when I see you isn't that gorgeous and that was lovely because I was a bit sad today I'm a bit I don't know I'm having one of those days um, and we're allowed one of those days, you know. <clears throat> Go this way. We are allowed to have one of those days. Just with, you know, Otis being ill and it's hard for Jay and then you know I can't see them and um, it's Easter and the presents I ordered hadn't been delivered so I was just feeling really really meh today so let's pop those there I always outline everything. It just makes it look as though it's meant to be on the page. So what am I going to do now? Well, I'm going to make this stand out. And then I think I'm going to Add some, um, I should have started down here, I wasn't thinking. There we go. It won't matter. I'll tell you what I am loving. Um, I'm a dancer, as a lot of you know. I love my northern soul. Um, and obviously people can't go out. I normally can't get to see them because I'm not in the country very often. So I usually miss. But because nobody can go out, they're doing like virtual all-nighters and all-dayers. And I just, I just love it. So I've just been dancing in my kitchen. Which was great. That cheered me up. The cat thinks I've lost the plot, but he's used to it. He just has to stand on the side because I don't look where I'm going. The number of times I've tripped over him. But he's learned now. Mum's dancing, just get on the sidelines. There we go. Okay. I will do a little bit of doodling as well. I think I'll do some smaller doodling around here so that it matches. Let's have a doodle day. I think we'll have it on that, on that one and then we'll have it on Martha's. I 
down there. And then I think round Edith's. We'll have the little border that matches the inside there. On the sprocket you can actually put fancy frames and fancy effects on but this is what I prefer to do. I prefer to colour them, uh, to doodle them myself. You see I always turn my book round so then I don't smudge anything. Around Betsy's as well, and then it just makes them look as though they're meant to be there. And then we'll have a look at the two outside, two on the flap. To dry. Oh, look, here's my kitchen room. Let's turn that over. So, what should we do on the flap? Let's have. same on both of these actually but they'll be on different sides there we are and then let's let me just put that there let's just add this Oh, I keep picking up this pen that doesn't work. I need to get rid of it. I just tidy up every day, but I leave my pens and things out because I know I'm using them every day. And then these black here, I'm going to have them going around here as well. So I'm just going to draw them in first to match. And colour them in. And then it looks as though these two pages were meant to be together. Be, 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 be. There we go. They look as though they're meant to, to be there. This one's just strengthening a bit. It's not standing out brilliantly. So let's just colour that in a bit more. And I think I'm going to colour in these little bits inside, make them stand out just that little bit more. I tell you, I'm a doodler. I, I can't not doodle. I 
could have done this with black paint before, but I like that when I open my book, there's some borders already there because then it's a challenge. It's a challenge. You have to work around the borders that are there. The whole idea is it makes it quicker. And it also, it makes you freer. It stops you fussing and faffing around. It's like it's only a page. That's all. It's only a page in a book that's going to go down in history. Don't let it intimidate you. <laughs> Let's. I've noticed a few other people are doing something similar now. It's like, hey... We were in first, weren't we? We were in first recording our pandemic lives. There, can you see where that black is just in, just helping that to stand out more? But again, I could have coloured them, you know, inked, inky, um, inky brushes on there would have looked really nice as well. But I'm going to put ink round these, um, round the photos to make them stand out more. There we go. Okay, yeah, I like that. So let's put the ink round the photos. And I think I'm going to choose the colours that are in here actually. So let's have a look what we've got. So with Otis, I'm going to put like this, this blue. I think that is more like the Blue Lagoon colour. Martha, let's do her in the pink. And let's do Betsy and Edith. Don't they have the most beautiful names? So Betsy and Edith can be in the orange. Yeah, that looks nice. And then this, I think we will have the small ones in orange. in pink I do like a bit of coordination and then I think I'm going to do the ring that goes around there in um, the light in the green In the island, so she pees as Alan Parrot. There we go. In the island, Parrot. And actually, I think I'm going to put these circles in island, Parrot as well. See how everything just comes together organically. You don't have to stress for ages thinking about it. Whatever you do will look fabulous. And whatever you do, people, you know, it's just about recording life. We want to show people there was a pandemic, but you know what? 
Easter went on, life went on. It wasn't the same. We won't expect it to be the same, but it's it's still life went on and we're just recording our everyday. So on here, I think we'll put pink at the top this day, the time. And then I'll put orange at the bottom. down here marvellous that works there that works there fabulous I think I'm going to write Easter in here so let this is sharpen one of my favourite pencil sharpeners, the Blackwing pencil sharpener, because it has two holes. This one you put it in and you sharpen the wood and this one it sharpens the lead so your pencils never snap. I love Blackwing products. So let's have Easter. Yep. For those of you moaning about your writing, just write. The more you write, the writing your writing will get better. But it's not a competition. It's more, you know, it's a record of things. And when you're gone, people will want to see your writing. Some of my most treasured possessions are my mum and dad's writing. On my fridge door, there is a little post-it note and all it says on it is something like tax so-and-so and some numbers and that's my mum's and I just love it because every time I see it, I see her writing. And then my dad was a terrible writer and I have the poem A Boo Ben Adam, which my dad wrote and it's, well, he didn't write it, he rewrote he wrote it out on a piece of paper, should I say. And... Um, his writing is terrible, but those two things I treasure more than anything. So, right, um, 2020. <clears throat> Let's stamp in, stamp, stamp, stamp. It's always quicker to stamp than it is to do it myself. So this set, as I said before, is um, one of the dialogue sets. So if you want this size numbers, they are on the dialogue. There is another set. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say what I was doing there. I always do this half first so I get them neat. I'd hate to start over here and run out of space. So you can see I did this. Um, I did that one. So it's Easter so 2020. Right. Where is my number one? Oh my gosh, my number one. Oh, it's probably fallen off in the bag. Let's have a look down there. Oh, it's there. Oh, that's it. Oh. I'm not bothering with those. This is what happens. You have to look after your number them. one. And then you can Because without it, you're in trouble. And that's a bit like in life. Look after your number one. You are your number one. You've got to look after it. So, white pen, white pen. Go 
around these. I'm going to go around the whole letter. The other times I've just been doing a line, but with this one, I'm going to go around all of it. Try it on here, carry on as normal. Because it's important, you know, the little ones, they, they, how do they understand? All of a sudden, they can't see the friends, they can't see the grandma, they can't see the relatives, they can't go to nursery, they can't go to play school, and you don't want to frighten them. I'm just going to get a sticker book out as well you don't want to frighten them at all so you know you've got to life has got to carry on as normal so i'm just going to I remembered in my first diary stickers create the first lot of stickers you get these sheets um with things so i'm just going to what am i going to do i wanted important but i've only got not important there so let's let's just cut the knot off. So these are see-through. I'm just going to cut the knot off. And I'm just going to put there important. Carry on as normal. Yeah. And then I'm going to put the 12th up there. So let's get these back out. Should have kept them out, shouldn't have, but never mind. So there's my one. Oops. My desk is looking a little cluttered. This is not like me. I will need to tidy this up immediately. Twelve. Just let me lift the back of that one. There we go. There we go. When that's dry, I shall go around it with a white pen like I have done on the inside um what else oh I know this didn't stand out very well yesterday so I just thought is it this one I've got arrows here we go here's some arrows so let's use use the turquoise arrow there and then let's use the green arrow up here and then I usually go round them with the black pen because it's what I do for everything when I designed these sticker books they were like we really think you should put some things in you know like these hearts and different bits and I was just like Oh no, oh no, and now I just love them. I stick them on everything and now I'm like, I wish I had tons of them. 
Okay, look, now I'm just going to go sticker mad, adding little stickers in. She can have a little pink one. Put her there. Otis can have a little blue one. Oh, yeah, look. Hearts akimbo now. Martha can have an orange one and Betsy can have this purpley, purpley pink there. And I can't, if I draw on the photo, it won't work. So anyway, so there we are. So these two pieces will go in my box. This is my box so far of um, leftover bits. That was a bit of Dina. There's a bit of packaging. I've got some from the colouring sheets. So they're a bit big, but those two can go in there to be used at a later date. Okay, so there we go. See you tomorrow. Bye.